all going to be in the court, and Dealey never even thinks that hire a babysitter for little Joe. <laughs> she was too busy hurting Jill to remember her child. Mm. Mother, where does she get the nerve to show her face at this hearing? Well, unfortunately, I got a hold of Mrs. Shaw. The little one will enjoy himself today, anyway. Shall I meet you at the hospital after I see Jack? We could ride down to the courthouse together. I'll look for you in the lobby, but if I don't see, I'll go on, because I'm only going to see Jill for a second. And maybe Jack will be feeling better, and you'll have a nice long visit. Hmm? You're much more optimistic than I am. Oh, well, he's had the night to think about being a father. He may look at things differently. I keep on thinking how Frank looked when he told us Jill was pregnant. It was awful news, but Frank was smiling. He loves Jill. He can't help but love their baby. Jack will come around, even if it does take a while. The fact is that your baby's good news. I can't help feeling bad for the little one that Jillian's carrying. And for Jill. She brought up the subject of abortion the other day. Hmm? Supposedly it was a friend's problem. Yeah, she was talking to me about it, too. I never dreamed. I guess she's been dealing with it all by herself. Can you imagine how alone she's felt? That's the main reason I want to see her this morning. I want to reassure her as best I can that somehow or other Frank will live up to his responsibilities and we'll all help. In spite of the situation, we love her and she should know that. Who should know me? Who oh, do you? Um, we had just gone out. Oh, were you talking about Frank taking responsibility for me and little John? Ma, I think you should probably wear a scarf. It's a little chilly outside. I think I have one in my bag. Too. What were you saying? I, I was hoping that I overheard that, that you were going to be fair to me during the hearing. We're just... I'm going over to see Jetty. Oh, I heard um, you love her. I thought maybe... What were you talking about? Why are you treating me like this? It wasn't my fault. I didn't mean to hurt Jill. It was an accident. Just like it was an accident when you pushed Frank downstairs. Hmm? Yeah, it was an accident, Mary. I wanted to tell you the day that it happened. But I couldn't because I thought you would be mean and you would blame me. And that's exactly what you're doing. It wasn't my fault, either of them. Please, believe me. Are you all set? Mm -hmm. set. Cool. Delia, we have believed and believed and believed your lies. We've stopped now. That's all. Yeah, you know I wouldn't hurt anybody on purpose, you know? Little John is downstairs, dear. John will stay with him until Mrs. Shaw gets here. We'll see you in a little while in the courthouse. I just got off duty about a half an hour ago. I was trying to get a nap before the custody hearing. I need you now. Something terrible has happened. Going. SoapNet has a status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Ingo Rademacher and Vanessa Marcel Giovinazzo say so long to poor Charles. Wow. And Constance Towers is back as troublemaker Helena. It's true. On One Life to Live, Tony Award winning actress LaShawn's debuts as Yvette, while Tuck Watkins returns as David Vickers. What do you think about that? And on All My Children, Green Lake. Josh Dumel, Eva LaRue, and Torsten K take one more trip to Pine Valley. I'm here to stay. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet and ABC.com. It is my recommendation that Mr. Jacks be granted sole custody. You will not get my daughter. This week. Last chance, share custody with Carly. Or what? I am going to leave you begging for mercy. Sonny takes extreme measures. You're going to be done. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Bare Minerals is the original. Millions of women worldwide love Bare Minerals because it changes more than your skin. Bare Minerals will change your life. This is smooth, it's nice, and it covers. I like that. Bare Minerals is the only foundation I would ever use. 
ever. 100% Pure Bare Minerals is not like any other makeup. It looks like beautiful bare skin while it covers whatever you want it to. No matter what your skin type or condition, Bare Minerals is for you. Best of all, now is a great time to start going bare because right now you can get everything you need for flawless coverage. And a new favorite, Click Lock Go gives you a spill-proof way to take Bare Minerals Foundation with you anywhere. We also have an exclusive bonus collection worth $57.95, free. And it's all yours for more than 75% off retail. Our introductory Get Started Kit includes Bare Minerals Foundation for flawless coverage. We promise a perfect shade match or your money back. You'll also receive warmth for a healthy glow. Mineral Veil, the ultimate finishing touch. And Bare Minerals Professional Flawless Application Brush. Call right now and you'll also receive three fabulous full-size and totally free gifts, including Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. Purchased separately, you'd spend over $120. So our original Get Started Kit was a great deal at two payments of $29.99. But if you call right now, this entire seven-piece set is yours for just one payment of $29.99. That's right. Order direct and receive everything you see here for only one payment of $29.99. That's over 75% off the retail price, a savings of over $90. It's not expensive. It lasts for such a long time. Bare Minerals is my miracle. With our 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. To save over 75%, call 1-800-235-3320. Ask how you can receive this handy compact. Call 1-800-235-3320 now. Hi. Good morning. I'm feeling much better this morning. How about you? If you're uh, talking about this pregnancy of yours, I'm about the same as I was last night. Not so good. Jack, it isn't my pregnancy. Mary, it's all yours. I'm sorry if you really believed I tricked you into getting me pregnant. You ought to know I couldn't do that. I uh, don't suppose you could undo it either? No. Yeah. Well, I guess I understand the situation about as well as I ever will. They should be taking me to physical therapy soon. Jack, what do you understand? Honey, I can't tell what you're thinking. It's obvious, isn't it? I've been conned, and there's nothing I can do about it, so I live with it. Conned? You want a nicer word? Okay, uh, how about, um, fool? They sure preached up a storm about us making all big decisions together. Anything more important than a shopping list, we had to consult one another. You did a good job. I, I uh, actually was beginning to see the air in my ways. Maybe I was wrong that day when I took little John back home without asking you. Maybe I had no right to say if we should ever, when, if we could have kids. <laughs> you sure fooled me, Mary. No, I didn't. I meant every word I said about sharing decisions and feelings and space. It's what the marriage is all about, but love but, sometimes. But uh, every rule has uh, some exceptions, huh? Yeah. Mistakes are made. Accidents happen. Or accidentally on purpose. Look, you saw that no amount of consultation in the world would ever get me to want a baby this soon. But you're determined to have your own way. So you did what you had to do. I don't think I can argue about no. that now. I think I'll wait till it doesn't hurt so much. But the fact is, we are having a baby. And babies shouldn't cause fights and misery. Not our baby, anyway. Can't you look on him as a new, innocent person? Couldn't you muster up a little enthusiasm for somebody you helped create? I'm sorry. I can't. Jack, I won't let this baby have a life like little John having to turn to his grandparents for any real sense of family. If anybody knows how important a father is, you do. I hadn't thought about that. What, 
You've uh, told your whole family, haven't you? Johnny probably already brought up the old Ryan crib from the basement. Not quite. Yes, of course, I told them. Mm -hmm. You also told them about my uh, negative reaction. Well, honey, they're not stupid. They could see something was wrong when I got back in last night. Now they hate me more than ever, huh? Jack, they've never hated you. They don't hate you now. Mother's your strongest ally, for heaven's sake. Johnny, my greatest enemy, per usual, hmm? He's worried. So am I. Mary, I don't feel that this baby is mine. It's just another Ryan ready to intrude on my life, and I gotta get away. I gotta go back to my own apartment, to my own bed, get under my own covers, and that's where I'm going, and that's where I'll stay. Once you're back on your feet? As soon as I get out of here. Oh, honey, haven't we talked about this enough? You will need to recuperate at my parents' house. I'm not gonna lie there on my back and have Johnny Ryan ranting and raving about his no-good son-in-law who doesn't understand a thing about fathering, huh? No, thank you. Just thinking about it makes me feel worse than I have in days. Jack, you I may to not us. know what's right for my wife or an unborn baby, but I know about me. I have to go home. I have to go to a custody hearing. Hi. 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 Just about looking on Jack. Now, what's the matter? Well, Alex, it's like this. I'm gonna have a baby. And the big man in there is so furious about it, he's vetoed the plan to move in with my family. I mean, he doesn't want in-laws. He doesn't want a child. And I suspect he doesn't much want a wife. That's what's going on. It's true. I pushed Joe, but it was an accident, and it was the same way with Frank. You believe me, don't you, Bobby? Honey, I feel like somebody's just hit me over the head. I don't know if I can take it all in. I feel uh, sort of the same way. I got mad. People get mad every now and then. I just don't understand how a little, a little push could just turn into a terrible injury. Two I mean, how is that times, possible? Two times, Delia, two times. It wasn't my fault, Bobby. It wasn't. Oh, sweetheart, I know you wouldn't try to hurt anybody. I don't believe you're capable of that. Bobby, I couldn't do that in a million years. I never planned to push anybody. Do you remember how it was when we were kids? All of a sudden, you would get furious with someone. And you took them out for a, a punch or a fist fight. Do you remember that? I remember that. It was like, it's like you had to get your feelings out. I know, but that was kids on the block. That's a whole different story. No, no, it's not. You get angry about someone, you have to hit someone. I mean, you didn't plan to hit someone, have them fall into the street, have a car go over them, right? Right. So that's the way it is with me. When Frank said he was going to leave me, when Jill said she was going to take little John away from me, I don't know, all of a sudden it's like I stopped thinking. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do, honey. Thank you. That's the way Frank felt. I guess, I guess that's why he never told anyone. Up till now, yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's just as well as out in the open, huh? He was vicious to me last night treated me like I committed a, a, a terrible crime. I didn't, did I? You said Jill's gonna be okay. Yeah. And I doubt if she'd press assault charges. I think Jill would do anything so she could get her hands on little John. I don't think she'll need to do that. See, all she has to do to the judge, and that's, tell the judge, and that's exactly what she's gonna do. <laughs> Honey, come on, come on. Now, you're starting <laughs> to scare me now, you know that? I'm scaring you. Because you're losing control. That's what worries me about this run-in with Jill. What did I ever do to Jill? I mean, why is she taking away everyone I love? Honey, please, come on. I'm with you. I'm on your side. You know that? I know that. And I love you. I know I'll never lose control. As long as I have little John. Bobby, don't let Jill win. 
Jill. Wake up, Jill. Jill, I want you to open your eyes. Jillian? Well, hello there. I know you have a terrible headache, and I don't want you to talk. But I need you to listen to me for a minute. Honey, Frank's found out that you're pregnant. He thinks that it's his baby. Now, you're gonna have to make some decisions. Squeeze my hand if you want me to speak to Frank. Oh, Jill. Hey. I mean, how's she doing? Oh, she's still unconscious most of the time. But she's not in danger. Oh, no, no. She's had a bad concussion, uh, which basically means a terrible headache, and she'll have to lie very still for a few days. But she'll be okay, I'm sure. And the baby? He's <sighs> coming along fine. Oh, thank God. I don't condone the behavior that led to the situation. You know that, but I do love Jillian. And I'd love any child of hers and Frank's. Poor babe, my little grandchild, would be born without his father's name. Two sisters, <laughs> two new chances for love. I came back for you. The waiting is over. We are really doing this. But is Kendall ready to move on? I want this. I want you. Bianca's feelings are returned. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Your objective, a false lash glam look. No false lashes needed. Get new Falsies Mascara by Volume Express, only from Maybelline New York. It's false lash glam in a tube. Our first. Our multi-patented spoon brush loads every lash with Cara Fiber Formula for 300% more visible lashes, corner to corner. No gaps from any angle. New Falsies Mascara, instant glam in a tube every day. Maybe she's bored with it. O'clock, my daily meeting with a salty snack. And then at 3.15, with my guilt. New Special K Cracker Chips. 27 crispy chips, 110 delicious calories. Mmm, good meeting. Same time tomorrow? Find them in the cracker aisle. I see a bag and think, I could have a chip. Yeah, right. That's why they're called chips. New Special K Cracker Chips. 27 crispy chips, 110 delicious calories. Another cracker chip? Don't mind if I do. Find them in the cracker aisle. A surprise engagement. EJ asked me to marry him. That Nicole will set out to destroy. You got a secret. And I'm gonna find out what it is. That is, if Sammy doesn't beat her to the punch. Son of a bitch. You are going to pay! Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. The View is back with all new shows. This week, ABC's Diane Sawyer on her interview with J.C. Dugard. Plus, Sarah Palin's daughter Bristol dishes to The View on her juicy new book. And the best hot topics on daytime television. This week on all new views on ABC. Wonderful news. When did you find out about it? I saw the doctor yesterday. Well, when's it due? May. Oh, Mary, I'm so glad for you. I have that old bear in there, too. Thank you. No matter what he says now, this will be a very special child. You mean because it may be the only one he'll ever have? It's a real blessing. Well, I'm glad Jack doesn't know how true that is, but I wish he could want it a little, or at least not hate it so much. Sometimes it comes to quite a, quite, a, quite a blow to hear that you're going to be a father. I remember I didn't handle it too well myself, and I wasn't even racked up or in the hospital. I don't know. Shape Jack's in. Probably be months before he starts reading baby books, thinking about names. Boys' names, probably. Just give him a chance to get better, OK? Alex, he'll never get better if he doesn't go to my family's place. Well, that's certainly the quickest, easiest way for him to recover. I'm sure he's well aware of that. If he stays this mad, he'll go back down to Weehawken Street. He'll find somebody to carry him if necessary, and then, God, I mean, how can I take care of him down there? Let me have a few words with him, okay? Oh, yes, please. I can't leave till I know what he says. Okay. <laughs> 
Just sit tight, okay? Okay. Congratulations. Huh? The uh, patter of little feet and so forth? Knock off the charm, will you? You know very well how I feel about kids. Yeah, you love them in Vietnam. Oh, I imagine you're referring to little Johnny Ryan. Well, fortunately, your own child's always much nicer than anybody else's. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear how crazy you were about Sandy when she was two years old and your wife died. Mary's not going to die and this baby isn't going to be anything more than a 20-year intrusion. Well, anyway, you won't have to face him for another seven months or so. By that time, you'll be better, back in your old apartment. Things will seem much different then. I hope you're still sticking to plan number one for a speedy recovery. The Ryans? Yeah. How much did Mary tell you? She go running down the hall and calling for Alex so she give you the latest uh, bulletin about how unreasonable her husband is? No, not exactly. Uh, she sure keeps you up to date on our private business, doesn't she? She has the good sense to understand that I'm your doctor and your friend. And as such, I have a legitimate concern with your immediate plans. Uh, I'm going home. To the Ryans? Back to Wee Hawkins Street. Jack, you need a live-in nurse. You have neither space nor money for Yeah, that. well, I don't give a damn about the nurse. Look, Jack, uh -huh. if you'd had enough foresight to carry medical insurance, you could have stayed here. But as it stands, you've got to find an inexpensive alternative, and fast. Mm -mm. So you're faced with a choice between a nursing home... Mm -hmm. No! Yes, or the Ryan family apartment. Now, from a financial and a medical and social point of view, that seems to be the ideal solution. I won't live with Johnny Ryan. Well, are you afraid of him? I detest him. Oh, what's that all? Well, look, my friend, the man seems to have made you a very generous offer. I suggest that you accept it graciously. Yeah, well, I'm not a southern gentleman, and I don't give a damn if I'm gracious or not. Yeah, over the years, I've noticed that. Still, I remain confident that uh, civilized behavior is not beyond you. You know, beneath that uh, gracious exterior, you're as mean as one of your mules. Doubtless, that's why our friendship has lasted. Yeah. I go to the Ryans. Anything to get me well so I can take charge of my life again. I think so. Well said, Jack. I'll see you later. Well, he's back on our side again. He agreed? Yeah. So you can go ahead and tell your folks to get that room ready. Oh, Alex, thank you. Maybe you were right. Maybe we'll all be okay. Anything to get me on my feet, then I'll have it my way. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless, only on SoapNet. They're filthy rich and play dirty games. I'm just not cut out for good deeds. Amy Adams stars in a SoapNet movie event, Cruel Intentions 2, Thursday at 2 on SoapNet. His fiance was murdered. Sorry about your loss. This week. Thanks to Todd Manning, Jack will never have to pay for what he did. Rex wants payback. By the time I'm done, Jack will know how it feels to lose his mother, and Todd will know how it feels to lose his wife. Then we'll be even. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Hair is so dry, it's attracting the wrong kind of attention. Get Triple Nutrition from Garnier Fructis. It's moisture with essential nutrition. Three weightless oils, avocado, olive, and shea, work deep, transforming dry hair into shiny, silky, sensational hair. Proven to make hair three times stronger, three times healthier. Proven to work in just one use. Nutrition makes all the difference. Triple Nutrition from Garnier Fructis. It's proven to perform. Garnier, take care. Announcing America's favorite cereal is now Honey Nut Cheerios. Yep, America's favorite. So we're celebrating the honey sweetness, crunchy oats, and hey, don't forget me. Honey Nut Cheerios. Make it your favorite, too. Your hands are only as clean as the towel used to dry them. Use the hand towel analyzer at Kleenex.com and find out what could be on your cloth hand towel. Upgrade to Kleenex hand towels for a clean, fresh towel every time.
This summer, the party's on SoapNet. We have a party to rock. You will never take over my life. Nothing is going to change how I feel about you. I love Ken Dye, baby. Oh, it is so on. What? Shut up! And you won't believe who's coming. You're back. This is one summer shindig you don't want to miss. I am ready to have the summer of my life. Only on SoapNet. Down. We asked Bradford Anderson to name all the Spinelli nicknames he could remember. Go. Stone Cold Mr. Serpicino-esque one, uh, Maximista blonde one, original blonde one, Prince Pectoral, Big Daddy Stone Cold the Goddess, the Divine one, Bad Blonde one, the Demented one, oh, um, the Valkyrie, um, the Brusque Lady of Justice. I could be here for literally three days, probably. See who Spinelli will nickname next on General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 Galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. She said she would meet us here. Maybe this is the wrong room. No, this is it, honey. Judge's chamber's right through the door there. Well, I guess we better wait here, okay? All right. Bob, Dee. Mary hasn't arrived yet, has she? No, we haven't seen her yet. Meg, how is Jill? Well, she's not fully conscious, but it seems she's going to be fine. I'm glad. Meg, Dewey's told me everything that happened about Frank, too. God, I'm sorry. I mean, the two of us, we owe everything to you and Johnny. Frank, he's like a brother to me. I just want you to know how badly I feel. Of course, Bob. You've had no part in any of this. We love you, same as ever. I'd like to feel that goes for Delia, too. Yes. I mean, she's made some bad mistakes, Maeve. She's got a temper like a bad little kid's. But she's ashamed about having pushed Frank and, and Jill. She didn't mean to do it. She didn't think they'd get hurt. Maeve, it's not fair to punish her by taking her child away from her. She loves little John. She needs that Maeve, kid. Maeve, I do. I'm sorry. I know I've been bad. But I take good care of little John. Please don't say awful things to the judge. Please. I believe you're sincere, dear. I really do. As much as I'd like to see you smiling and happy, I believe that my obligation is with the children. I mean, you almost killed Frank. And you seriously injured Jill. Now, I know you didn't mean to do it. But you did do it, in fact. And it's happened twice. And accident or no, twice is too much. I was angry. I don't ever get mad at little John. You've never seen me mad at him. No, not often. But you do get desperate once a week, every week. And the day would come, especially if you were living with little John alone, when you might do the child some harm. And I know you wouldn't mean to, and you'd be terribly sorry afterwards, but that wouldn't spare him. Don't turn against me. Don't say these things to the judge. Dee, I'm not against you. I'm for your child. Maeve, put in a good word for her, OK? Please. I'm sorry, Bob. I just don't believe she should be entrusted with the care of a child. Uh, Mrs. Ryan? Yes. yes. Oh, I think you must mean Mrs. Delia Ryan. Oh, uh, Miss Bernie's waiting in the courtroom. She'd like you to come in now. Uh, if your party's in this custody hearing, you'll be called shortly. Mrs. Ryan? In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.